There's pink paint all over the floor and walls of this basement warehouse. In other words, this one was broken here. We can't lose out of this one, Miss Andrews. But, uh oh, she's trying to make her escape. But you can't get pink paint anywhere. But there's nothing in my office, that's for sure. But there is in my room. Liar. But anyway, paint on the on and the paint on the floor. This will prove that it's the same paint. Come oh, on, this is getting ridiculous. Proof making the paint on the on to the paint on the floor is. Box. The owner was stored in this right? Yes, that's right. Well, there's pink paint on this box as well. Uh, I think you already know where I'm going with this, don't you? Yes, more or less. The paint on the floor has an odd shape and printed in it, doesn't it? Yes. You put this box and see it pressed in the paint, you can see it fits perfectly. Which means that this box was dropped right over there. And that is when the urn was broken. Can you do you justice, Mr. Wright? I'm so sorry. I was one, one, the one who broke the urn. Why does this make me feel like some sort of evil school teacher? I'm a terrible person. Not only did I break it, but I tried to hide what I did. Well, it's not so hard to understand, is it, Polly? No, not at all. I know just how she feels. What happened about two weeks ago? Just after the poster photo was taken on the same day the owner arrived here. I thought I'd put it away down here for safekeeping. I was carrying it in the box. When I tripped on a paint can and lost my balance. The box I was carrying crashed to the ground. I heard a terrible noise and I thought my heart was going to stop. Even the worst, I opened the lid of the box and that's what happened. The broken pieces of the old fell out of the box and I didn't write in the paint. I, I, I was in shock. I had a huge scream! Hmm, I can totally see how that could have happened. Yeah, as clumsy as he is, I'm sure my understands. Well, it was the most important treasure in all of Coin Village. So I tried as hard as I could to fix it. Fortunately, the swords were pretty big. That's when the I am got changed to Army. I didn't know how it was a whiskey wooden. The same person fixing it was simply said, Army. And the same person? Really? Oh, pause. He said she wasn't very good at spelling. Anyway, I put the one into the storm and no one had seen it since then. But there's something I don't get. Came here, I didn't see any paint stains. Well, that's because it was so ugly and embarrassing. I used the golden statue to cover it. The only face at you. Aha! The first time that we came down here, it was on the night that the sticker one was stolen. But Mr. Mac, there were no paint marks on the wall of the warehouse when we were here. Um, the good reason for that, on the day of the crime around noon, that golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. And, I realized that the statue was in the public session covering up the paint stains. That's why I put it where you first saw it. I see, that was public sites. Still one thing I find strange. What is it, Paul? The day after the urn was stolen, we came here again. At the time, the statue had been moved and the paint was clearly visible. He's right about that. Well, Mr. Andrews? Huh? What? I, uh, I don't know anything about that. I placed it there 
that's a cut with a paint, so why would I move it again? Well, then who was it? Who would have done it and why? The day before the theft, the statue is definitely closer to the door. Then the next day it was moved, but why? Looks like there's some connection between the sacred urn and the mortal case. Wh why? Why do you think so, Nick? Because that night, the world's deep wonder light was at KB security. So then why did another master mask show up here? A lot of different things are pointing to one undeniable fact. One undeniable fact? Tomorrow, but 